Hello, Aries. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into these messages and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Aries at this time, please? What messages do you have for Aries at this time, please? And thank you. Clear messages for the sign of Aries at this time. Okay, so you guys will be walking away from a particular situation here. Um, you're walking away from a particular situation. You're releasing someone and you're ready to get back out there. You're ready to get back out there. And as soon as you do, this person is going to come back towards you. This person is leaving behind someone else. They're leaving someone else behind. They're leaving behind someone that they thought was going to last, a commitment that they thought was going to last here. But some of y'all are not aware of a third party here, but there's someone that they were definitely involved in and this person just like let them down. They did not turn out to be the person that they wanted to be with. They turned out to be just a disappointment here. So some, it's like this person is walking away. They're leaving behind this connection. This is someone that you've been on a break from, but they don't want to be on a break from you anymore. And they're definitely releasing someone from the past, but they also are like in this energy of they no longer want to hold back from you here. I'm not giving a fuck. This is what I'm getting. I don't give a fuck what this person is tripping off of. Go back to that person that you thought was it. Because now I'm saying that you guys are getting like a lot of attention. Some of y'all could be getting like um international attention. It's like attention, attention, what the hell am I saying? Attention worldwide, a lot of attention here. It's you feeling really good about yourself, dancing to the beat of your own drum, and you are not tripping off this person anymore. Aries at all. It's like whatever you guys have achieved, it's just like you're not tripping off of this person at all anymore. I'm seeing that you guys are very focused and determined on getting over this person completely. And you guys want someone that matches your energy because you feel like this person from the past is not it. Not it. At least anymore. That's what you guys are coming to. There's someone that wants to offer you a commitment here, but they're hesitating because it's a lot of conflict between the two of you. And it's all because someone not being open and honest about the way that they truly feel. So more than likely, this is the person from the past. But let's see if this is going into a new, because this is someone who has learned their lessons. They learned the lesson that they needed to. They are not... They are not the same toxic type of person that they used to be if they came towards you in any type. Of, I'm getting like in the past, this person had like some toxic tendencies here. And what I'm getting is that they could have been obsessed with someone in the past. They could have been obsessed with someone else here. And now they're realizing that this is not it. They're realizing that they want to give into this connection with you. They are now like starving this past connection. They don't want to give to that connection anymore. Um, but I'm saying like before this person fully like releases someone, it's like they're trying to see where things are going to go between you and them here. Y'all are like, you can save that sad ass excuse for someone else because you guys are like fully, when they come towards you, you will be fully healed from this connection and doing like happy on your own. It's like you're very much so content all by yourself with the nine of cups here. There is like, you guys are achieving whatever you desire. It's like you're finding yourself at a place where you can finally just kind of take a load off here. And it's what you built on your own. So it's like you're not tripping off of this person at all. 
It's like you have balanced things out in your life because I'm saying that you did use a trip off of this person, but you balance things out in your life by focusing on your priorities and what you need to be focused on and not tripping off of this relationship. Because I'm saying that you guys had like did everything based off of what you wanted this relationship to turn into. And then you got to a place where it's like, why do I continue to stress and trip off of this connection when this person is clearly not giving back anything? They obviously don't feel the same way I do. So it's time for me to focus on what I need to be focused on, what makes me happy. So some of you guys found something, something regarding career-wise here that has been, that you have been completely focused on, that has been like taking up all of your time, all of your energy, and you are not mad at it because you actually enjoy doing this and you are trying to like perfect your craft here. You want to be like the top person. You want to be acknowledged for what you are putting like your efforts into here. And it's going to bring a lot of balance into your life. So I'm saying right now, that's what you guys are like. Some of y'all have been like, struggling a little financially here but still you guys have there's been like some financial hardships here but at the same point you guys have managed to maintain like balance within your life financially it's like you have not gone without anything it's like you still have been like staying afloat here i'm saying it's like you don't see no y'all don't This is kind of odd here. Let's see, Aries. Now, y'all definitely are not going back for this person. I'm seeing y'all turn it. It's like, if this person was to reach out to you, you guys would just ignore, straight up ignore this person or let them know it's, it's, it's not where it's at. I'm seeing things in your life, it's like, it's going very well. And you guys have completely withdrawn or you will completely be withdrawing from this connection here. And this is someone that you viewed once as a soulmate. You viewed like this was someone that you were fated to be with here. But now you're looking like at, at this person like there's no potential for growth here. You feel like this person is just like uh, an emotional wreck. You feel like they... I'm not getting this. You feel like they're an emotional wreck. It's more you feel like this person, the only way it's like you feel like they're an emotional wreck is because they're too afraid to face their emotions. That's what I'm getting. You feel like this is someone who likes to deny their emotions. They don't want to be vulnerable. But now this person is coming towards you like, I do want to open up. I do want to be vulnerable. But you feel like there's no way this person could fully open up and be vulnerable with you because they're like so fearful of being vulnerable with people here. So you guys are, yeah. Whoa, what the hell? Aries, but Okay. Y'all have the three of wands. So a major opportunity coming your way that you are ready for. You guys are ready for this love that is coming your way because right after the three of wands, you have the two of cups. So what is coming your way? Love, a companionship, your true love is coming your way. And this is something that you guys have been uh, manifesting with the magician here. The three of wands and the upright. You have the two of cups right after the three of wands so if you're wondering what is coming what type of partnership is coming towards you this is a soulmate type of partnership and it's one that you guys have been manifesting for some time now and you guys realize that you are ready to entertain this type of connection here so this is someone who is coming towards you with the knight of pentacles here someone that is dependable reliable someone that you can trust in they are coming towards you they will make an offer for a long-term commitment and even though you guys may have several options here, you guys will know clearly who you need to choose. What is the best option for you here? So 
So I'm saying you guys have the Ten of Swords in reverse. You have the Empress in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So in order to turn things around in your life for the better, you guys are realizing that you need to release a particular situation here where there is a lack of growth. You know that it's not going anywhere with this person. You guys felt like you waited around for communication from this person long enough and it's time to just let this go. So you can accept someone better in your life because I'm getting strong player energy and you guys have just fallen out of love with this person. And now you have enough courage, you have the strength to walk away from this connection and you're viewing this person as like a lazy lover, someone who just feels like, Things should just, they're a jealous person on top of that. They're going to be jealous of your accomplishments. They're going to be jealous of you being in a new relationship and with someone who treats you much better as well. And I'm saying with the Queen of Swords here, you guys are like, look, as this person comes towards you and they're trying to cling on to this relationship with you, you guys are being very blunt and direct with this person and you're like, hey, I made a decision and I'm standing my ground on my decision. I know that this is not going nowhere with me and you and that is it. I'm not about to keep on going back and forth with you. You can't make up your mind. You don't know what you want. I don't have time with the, uh, time for the games here. someone like can I just touch it can I just touch it please and it looks like y'all don't let them touch it yes because I'm seeing y'all getting it's like <laughs> Ooh, okay mm. y'all have someone here from your past this person is just very manipulative it's a really dark energy to this person and this person is going to try to make you jealous by like posting pictures of someone that they're with now someone a new relationship that they are in they're going to try to make you jealous y'all ain't tripping off this person at all this person is crazy as hell and it's like they're with someone else but they're constantly watching and trying to see what you are up to they're not really interested in the person that they are with they're just using this person to make you jealous if y'all even see what this person is doing because i'm saying like y'all just don't care about this person at all y'all are just like really just focus on your own life and whatever you're doing here it's like life is great for you and it's great without this person here y'all have someone that's gonna be like let me touch it please just let me get a taste of it it's like this person is going to want to be all over you and i'm saying y'all let this person I'm saying that this is someone, it's just like, y'all, what's, it's, it's like someone here, it's like wanting to tame the other person. They view this person as wild and not in like a crazy way, but this is someone that's like, they may feel like you flirt a lot or you get a lot of attention, but this person wants to be the one to say like, I got Aries here, or y'all see someone as like, a player and you feel like they get a lot of attention y'all want to be the one that say i tame they ass i'm getting turning a hoe into a housewife or a hoe into a house husband here and it's not necessarily that they're a hoe but it's just like they've been a bachelor or a bachelorette who constantly is getting a lot of attention here and now it's like y'all have just like it's like when Amal married George Clooney here. He had been a bachelor for so long and everyone was like, he'll never get married. And then next thing you know, here he comes with Amal and he just is, 
a whole different person. Like, people don't even remember how George Clooney was in the past. But he used to be that man. He used to be that bachelor that all the ladies wanted. And then Amal came and was like, honey, he's off the market. And she's so classy with it. It's just like, he's just like, I don't know how I got her. Like, he's tripping off of her. This is the type of energy that you got here. It's like, y'all are going to be the ones to tame a bachelor or a bachelorette here. Someone that everybody wanted. Someone that people view, they'll never settle down. They'll never, and y'all are proving all those people wrong. And they gonna be like, what, where did they come from? And this person is going to be all over you. I mean, this person is going to be like, I want to spend time with my baby. I want to spend, I don't care what y'all got going on. I just want to chill out with my boo right here. Not y'all. Y'all are not where it's at. I like y'all reading Aries because I like it when the story switches up and it's different messages. Y'all reading has been pretty good. Okay, come on now. Yes, Dating Queen. Y'all definitely are about to capture someone's attention here. You guys are having multiple offers. And then it's just like, as you have these multiple offers, there, there is going to be someone here. Okay. This is the thing. This is going back into the last message because I'm seeing that you and this person both get a lot of attention. I'm seeing you guys at this place in your life where you're willing, you're really feeling yourself and you're getting a lot of offers here. Everyone has something different to offer you. And in the process of you guys getting like these multiple offers here, you guys have all these people that are just captivated by you. They wanna give you their love and affection. You guys have someone that you're going to be like, who is that? And at the same time, that person has been watching you. They see you as someone who gets a lot of attention, but they also get a lot of attention. So y'all are just like that it couple. Y'all are about to be like that it couple here because the both of you get a lot of attention. Like a lot of people find this person very attractive and y'all could be like, it's like different races here as well. But this person is just like peeping you. They've been peeping you for some time now. And then you guys all of a sudden just look back like, who is that? And this person catches your attention too. And the thing is, is that you guys, like when you come together, you attract a lot of financial blessings into your life. There's a lot of abundance here. And this is going to take place pretty soon here too. If you're a man, there will be two females here. One that could be a little younger than you. I'm seeing you guys like communicating with someone that's a little younger than you here. Like around your age, but they may be like two to three years younger than you. Nothing significant here. But I'm also seeing my, this is the thing. Y'all are literally attracting someone that matches your energy because I'm seeing that the males have multiple offers here and the female has multiple offers here. And there's going to like the spite, it's like going to be people trying, like with this female here, it's going to be some people trying their hardest to get you. And this is someone, the person that's going to capture your attention that you're going to end up being with is someone who is just like swagged out. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like they're smooth as hell. They aren't doing all that that the other people are doing. It's like, it's just natural between the two of you. So this person is just like, they introduce themselves, you know, y'all exchange, but y'all gonna be talking, but they're not desperate and you're not desperate. 
but you two are really feeling each other here. So you are going to be like, forget these other options. And they're going to be like, forget these other options. Y'all are just going to be captivated by each other. And it's like, finally, I met my match. Y'all been out here dating and entertaining these other offers, but it's just like, no one has been like, no one has matched the type of energy that you're looking for. And then boom, here this person comes and they match your energy and you're like, y'all mirror each other. Y'all are just alike here. And I'm, I'm like, I try it because I try to say uh, masculine and feminine here too, because I know with my same sex couples, uh, just take it as it resonates, forgive me. Because I am a female here, so I tend to, you know, just speak from a female perspective and talk about, you know, female with a guy. But I try to make sure that I'm incorporating everyone here because I want to make sure that everyone gets the message that they need to. Okay. Let me do this. That is because I'm really strongly, y'all are like a high class couple here. It's because I'm really getting like George Clooney in a mall type of energy between the two of you. It's like very high class. Like y'all so fancy. here from the past I don't there's someone here and I'm getting that this is someone from the past because this is someone like they feel shut out from you y'all are closing the door officially on this person I'm getting this person has like a drinking problem here very strongly they have a drinking problem they're seeing you as like a major transformation this person is in need of help it's like they need like some serious, but not, not the type of help that you can give to them. They want to just be codependent upon you, but um, y'all aren't, y'all have, y'all shutting the door on this person. And it's like they want to be able to rely on you. They definitely need some help here. <clears throat> Y'all, it's like one thing you need to know is that like if this is your past person, they struggle with drinking here and they need to go to like rehab, some type of serious help here that this person needs. Um, they feel shut out from you. They want to be back in your life, but you know that it's not healthy for you to entertain this type of energy. So you guys are just not tripping off of this person. This person is like really pissed off because they feel closed out. <clears throat> they feel shut out by you. And this person has been like trying to tap into your energy, trying to send you like energetic messages here, trying to like just really get into your energy here. But I'm saying that you guys are like too strong for the type of like stuff that they're trying to send in your direction. There's someone here. Okay, whether it's like relating to this guest, like this connection between you and this person has a lot of love here. And y'all have this past person that is about to explode when they see you with someone new. They're going to be so pissed, but this connection is just like divinely protected. There's a lot of protection over this connection with you and this person. This is someone they're going to like, they're not going to straight up like tell, it's like a lot of flirting between the two of you. And it's like really cute. It's like y'all, I'm seeing like you guys playing pool together, doing things. It's like y'all getting out and it's just, you know, like I'm seeing y'all at a place and it's not just like no crazy place, but just like where y'all can play some pool, like kind of, you know, cause y'all both like to, um, keep busy. It's like, you don't want to just sit. It's like, I'm seeing y'all go to nice places, but at the same point, like y'all have fun. And it's like playing pool, playing darts, you know, and like that type of it. And it's just like flirting with each other, really cute. And this is someone who is just like, they're very attracted to you. They find you just like very like 
good looking. This is like taking place. It's like divine time and taking place because this is highly a highly protected connection that is taking place here. And it's like they'll start off like as a secret crush and not like you won't because I'm not getting like it's just because they're flirting, but they haven't just like straight up tell you. They're not just straight up telling you how they feel here. And so you're like, I know they flirting with me. I know they like me. You know for sure that they do. It's, you're not questioning it, but it's just like, okay, you are having fun. And then it's like, boom, all of a sudden, like, okay, this person is just like, okay, things take off between you and this person. But y'all have a lot of fun together before. It's just like things just take off between you and this person. I'm getting like y'all intuitively will pick up on this person having a crush on you. But it's like you're going to pretend like you don't know, like you're not aware. It's like you're going to play into their game here. Some of y'all, it's like that. Re if that resonates with you, I'm getting like that may hit the spot for some of you guys. Okay. Because some of y'all may know this person already. Couple more. Try and do this one. See what messages come through from here. Okay, you guys are at a place where it's like y'all, it's like y'all have taken time out for yourself. Because you realize that you've been repeating some cycles, some cycles here in your love life that you no longer want to repeat. You no longer want to attract the same type of people that you were attracting in the past. You want someone completely new, a completely new type of energy here. You want people to come to you correct and to value your worth here. So you guys are taking a pause from dating. You're taking a pause from romance here in order to pull yourself together so you can attract the type of energy that you desire. In that time of you guys taking time to yourself here and getting yourself together in order to attract the type of love that you have you guys now I'm not getting the same type of energy like that alcohol that's this is someone completely new this is a new story here um, in that time of taking the pause out for yourself for your healing there's someone from the past that is like missing you and it's like divine timing is at play in this connection between you and this person. And this person will be coming towards you with apologies and wanting to reconcile with you, wanting to make things right, wanting you two to get to know each other better. And on top of that, it's like not really necessarily getting to know each other better, but getting to know who you are now. have the never ending stump, uh, story and a change in the wind so there's finally a change that has taken place you guys have this is for the ones who feel like you guys have been constantly running into the same type of energy and it's like it's like dang can i get the right person are they fine that person is finally coming in for you the person that you're going to end up with is finally coming in for you because I'm saying this is someone who feels like you've been constantly attracting the same type of people and just getting disappointed after this. It's like disappointment after disappointment. But now there's a change coming into your love life and you're finally attracting the right person towards you. Someone that's going to make you very happy, make you feel complete. And it's like, this is a really happy type of energy here between you and this person. But it's like, this is something that you are not expecting because it's just like, you're trying to figure out why do I keep attracting the same type of people and only to be disappointed in the end. Yeah. I don't think you guys could have ever imagined the type of love that is about to take place in your life. 
Okay, I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you, Aries, at this time. If this reading resonates, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, you all take care. Thank you.